Hello and welcome to today's Regiondo training. When working daily with Regiondo, the dashboard calendar is crucial because many functionalities are accessible within this menu item. In the calendar, besides other things, you receive an overview of all appointments and can also manage them. In this training, we will show you all functions so that you can use the calendar effectively. At first, let's talk about the different views you can change between in the dashboard calendar. With this, you can adapt the calendar to your workflow. In the calendar view, you can choose between a day, week or month view. Additionally, you can select the time frame you want to display. You will recognize that in all three views, the offers that lie in the past are marked brighter. This gives you a quick overview about the appointments that are up next or are already finished. If you choose the week or month view, you can decide between a detailed or compact view of your calendar. You can find this option on the top right when clicking on the gear wheel. The selection will influence the appearance at first sight. The detailed view is selected by default and gives you the following information about your appointments. Start time, offer name, price list and total capacity. The compact view, however, only shows you the start time of the offer and the total capacity of the appointment. In both views, you can click on the appointment to open a pop-up which shows you even more information. Here, you can also find the ticket category and their capacities, any used resources, as well as the assigned multi-user. Additionally, you can reduce or increase the capacities or assign all bookings of the appointment to a multi-user. If you only want to display the appointments that have already been booked, just click on the button Display Bookings Only in the top bar of the calendar. In this way, all appointment slots without a booking disappear from the overview. With the integrated filter, you can further narrow the calendar view. You can choose which products, resources, guides or categories should appear in the calendar. When you don't need the navigation of your dashboard anymore, you can easily hide it and let only the calendar be displayed. Click on the button on the top left with the three horizontal stripes. This function is very useful when you use the calendar view per default. Besides the calendar view, we offer a table view, resource view and icon view. In the table view, the appointments are displayed as a list. You can directly manage capacities and see on first sight how many bookings have been received so far. The resource view shows you how many resources are being used at a given time. You can display the resources in a day and week view. When you click on one of the resources, you can see how many are still free and which are used in an offer. Using the filter, you can restrict which products and resources should be appearing in the resource view. You can move and sort your resources in your calendar to your preference using drag and drop. With the iCal view, you can import your Regiondo appointments to your personal calendar. The iCal feed only synchronizes appointments up to 5 weeks in advance and has to be reintegrated after. 
The limitation to five weeks is due to a restriction of calendars such as Google Calendar, which limit the amount of data that can be uploaded. In comparison to the other calendar views, the iCal integration is a tad more complex. That's why we have a knowledge base article on our help page, which describes the integration in detail. Let's go back to the calendar view. When you click on an appointment in the calendar, you will see a pop-up displaying additional information and further actions. Those allow you fast access to useful functions outside of the calendar. You can add a booking to your selected appointment, have a look at the participants, notify them, or alter or even cancel the appointment and its bookings. Clicking on Add New in the Booking section, a new page opens in which you can make a POS booking. When you click on Participants, you will be redirected to an overview with all your attendees. You can manage the visible columns and export a participant list. In this view, you can also message all participants, alter all bookings, or cancel them whole. A fast-running leisure company needs plenty of information about its customers, which should be quickly accessible to provide the best possible service to the guests. If you, for example, offer city tours and your customers have special preferences, you can add those as a note in the booking. A connection between the calendar entry and the individual booking note you added in the booking overview will be established. You can see whether a note was added to the booking by the dog's ear at the top right of the tile. Just move your mouse over the corner to show the note. In the calendar settings, you can activate or deactivate the visibility of nodes. You can also adjust if assigned multi-users should be displayed in the dog ears as well. By enabling this function, you save time since you needn't click on an appointment to see the multi-user. In addition, you can modify the colors of the dashboard calendar to your liking. You can customize the calendar so that either the capacity utilization, the assigned multi-user, the category or the product is displayed by the color of the appointment. In the capacity utilization, you can select the colors for the five shown scenarios. In Assignees, you choose a color for each registered user. In Category, you can determine a color for each category you offer in your ticket shop. And in Product, you select a color for each of your offered products. Click on Restore Default Colors to return to the original design. At last, we want to show you how to block an entire day within the calendar. If your guide is sick, for example, you can block all appointments on that day. For this, you have to switch to the day view first. Then, you use the filter to select what exactly you want to block. When you want to block all appointments of a specific multi-user, then choose that user. You can also decide for offers or resources. If you want to block everything on a day, click on all of your offers in the filter. When you have chosen everything you want to disable, scroll to the bottom of the filter and click on Show. Now a blue button appears in the top right hand corner with the inscription Block out all day. If you click on that button, you receive a warning that the action can't be undone. If you want to undo your changes later on, 
you have to manually click on each appointment and change its capacity. After you clicked on Yes, the total capacities of all selected appointments will be restricted so that no new bookings can be made. Please be advised that already placed bookings will stay untouched with this action. You must cancel them beforehand. If they are cancelled afterwards, the newly made capacities will be shown for sale. Should you not wish that, then you have to block the capacities again after the cancellation. Thank you very much for listening and see you at the next Regionda training.